Hey, hey, boys and girls. Welcome to Central Kids Storytime Online. We have another exciting story for you this week. Are you ready? Hey, boys and girls. I've got something exciting for you. I thought I wanted to teach you a lesson that I've learned from chickens. Come and have a look here. You can probably hear them in the background. All croaky. Oh, look there. Seven eggs that have been laid for us that we can eat. And then have a look here. Oh, look here. Here's Mrs. Hen. I don't know, you can name her. We don't know what her name is, but she might. she's probably gonna pick me. Have a look here under it. Oh, look at that. Look at all those eggs. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, maybe 12 eggs. Oh, and there's the rooster. Now, boys and girls, this is a hen. Busy sitting on eggs, she's gonna sit on them for 21 days and when they hatch she's gonna look after the little babies for weeks and weeks and weeks until they can look after themselves. But we've put some eggs in the incubator inside. I want to show you. Come and have a look. Hey guys, I told you we put some eggs in the incubator. This is our incubator. It's actually our neighbor's incubator that we've borrowed. But it's got a heater, it's got a fan, it controls the temperature and the humidity. You can see we're measuring it here. Got to keep the temperature around about 35, 36, 37 degrees Celsius and the humidity pretty high and then the eggs start hatching. So let's have a look and see if any of them have been hatching. Let's have a look and see. Oh wow, look there boys and girls. There's a little chick. This is a newly hatched little chick. It hasn't even dried out yet. And here's its little eggshell that it hatched out of. So wow, there's a little chick that's just freshly hatched and you can hear it chirping away trying to find some friends or a mum or something but now boys and girls I want to take you and show you some of the chicks that hatched out a few days ago so yeah guys come and have a look at these little chicks these hatched out in the last few days so they're only about some of them only hatched yesterday there's just three of them in here but these little chicks hatched out in the incubator and look here they're used to our voices already and they're used to our hands and you can pick them up. And uh, this little one is about three days old. Don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, but three days old, it's not scared of me. It listens to my voice. They actually stand up when we come in here and they hear our voices. It actually stands up and it's like, who's there, who's there? It doesn't have a chicken mom or dad. So these are the little chicks that are hatching out. But let's go and have a look at a chick that's hatched out underneath a real chicken mum. So guys, can you hear this mum in the background? This is a mum who hatched out just one little chick. Let's have a look at it. There she is there. Check the little chick at the back. Now this little chick is not tame at all. It only knows its mum's voice. That little buck, 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 buck is what it knows. And uh, it talks to its mum with its little cheep, 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 cheep. And the mum talks to it with its little buck, 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 buck. And you know what? This mum reminds this little chick about when there's danger. So if a hawk flew overhead, the little chick knows nothing about a hawk. It's never seen a hawk, but the mum knows that the hawk is danger. So she'll make a certain sound, the little chick will run in underneath and hide away and be safe from the hawk. Now you know what? The Bible tells us that we need to know God. You know in the Bible, in John chapter 10, and verse 27, it's talking to us about sheep. Not about chickens, but about sheep. And it says this, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. And verse 28 says, I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. And so boys and girls, I want you to know, like, like a chicken raises a little, its own little chick is the safest place for that little chick to be. For you and me, boys and girls, the safest place to be is to know God our Father and to know his voice and to listen to him. And he tells us what we need to know in the Bible. And he allows us to speak to him and to come to him. If we're scared, if we're not sure about the future, if there's things that worry us, we can come to him. He is the safest place to be. And so boys and girls, I wanna remind you, just like he tells us in his word, get into God's hand, commit your life to him and he will protect you. Just like the hen protects her chicks. So boys and girls, I hope next time you see a mother hen with a bunch of little chicks that you'll remember this passage from the Bible and remember that you can run to God. 
Thank you for joining us at Central Kids Storytime Online. See you next week. Bye-bye.